Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Why do I always clap? Weird. So, I just finished doing some shopping at Walmart. It's a pretty random haul for the most part, but I know you guys love my Walmart grocery hauls. Uh, there are some food items in here. Who am I kidding? You guys enjoy all of my hauls. <laughs> at least you seem to. I get a lot of views on those. So, I thought I'd just go through and show you guys what I picked up from Walmart. Before I come in Walmart, I stopped at Sam's Club and I picked up uh, some fresh chicken for dinner tonight. Normally I do frozen because it's just cheaper, but I have plans to do a honey mustard pretzel chicken breast for dinner, and I forgot to lay chicken out. So I went ahead and picked up a pack of fresh chicken uh, for dinner tonight, which I'm doing a whole other video for uh, like meal ideas. I was gonna say dinner, but then I did like a breakfast one this morning, so it's just gonna be like an assortment. But anyway, at Sam's Club, I got the chicken and I got a four pack of uh, sparkling juices. Um, they're like the Welch's, I'll insert a picture if you don't know what I'm talking about. So, uh, New Year's is coming up and my cousin and our mutual friend decided to throw a little party for the kids. Uh, there's going to be 10 in total for me <laughs> but I mean my my cousin and our friend will be there too so there's gonna be three moms to ten kids so I've got two boys and then my cousin has three of her own kids and then our friend has four and then I'm gonna start babysitting one a different friend's kid and so she's we're gonna do a little trial run on Thursday see how you know he fits in with everybody I don't see there being an issue he's actually one day older than Ira my baby so it's gonna be like having twins so I, don't, I already got two kids. What's a third? You know, <laughs> throw them in the mix. So he's going to come over for a little trial, see how he does with getting along with everybody and nap time and all that stuff. And uh, so, yeah, we're throwing a little party for the kids um, for New Year's. I mean, kids have just missed out on so much this year. And our kids are a little. The oldest one is going to be eight. That's going to be there. And then after that, I think, um, I think my friend's daughter is six maybe um and then it just goes down from there we're gonna have like three we're gonna have two five-year-olds a four-year-old uh a one-year-old no he's two now a two no two two-year-olds sorry um and then two one-year-olds <laughs> they're little so a lot of them most of them don't really fully understand what's going on or they're just barely grasping the concept but kids have missed out on a lot so we wanted to throw a little get together for them and my friends and i my cousin and our friend we've been rubbing elbows this whole pandemic okay like I, kids need to socialize they need to get together they need to have somebody to play with and so we just kind of had this little mommy group and we get together about once a week if we can depending on school schedules and we let the kids play together and we've been doing this this whole pandemic um i i to my understanding they haven't been socializing a whole lot with anybody else either and neither has me and my husband other than like you know family so like moms and dads um so anyway that's what that is we're having a little new year's eve party for the kids so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the kids count down to uh 12 o'clock noon because you know, i'm not letting my kids stay up to midnight let me tell you that no i would have some brats the next day <laughs> they would not or they would sleep all day the next day they just i'm gonna lock my doors i'm in the back part of walmart uh, well, like not the back part, it's only the front part, but I'm like further out away from people and there's like random people walking around just to be on the safe side. We're going to lock the doors. I normally do that, but I forgot. <sighs> so anyway, normally our local library has a New Year's Eve party for the kids. They have like a little dance party. There's balloons, there's cookies available and the kids dance and play until it's like because they have like conference rooms so the library does it in a conference room so the kids have music going they dance they play and then they have a countdown to 12 o'clock and then when 12 o'clock happens they have like balloons taped up to like the ceiling in the conference room and what i mean by that is it's like a plastic sheet that's taped up and on, on top of the plastic sheets are the balloons and there's like a pull string and so when 12 o'clock comes the kids all count down to 12 and then when the librarians pulls the pull string the balloons come down and they do the new year's eve song and it's a blast and my cousin and i have been taking our kids to this for a couple of years and we didn't want them to have to miss out on that it's something that we look forward to taking them to and we know they enjoy it i don't know that they necessarily remember it long term levi is finally getting old enough to remember so we thought we just throw a little new year's eve party so i'm hosting uh we're gonna have 
cheese and crackers. Uh, I'm just, like, I don't know. I feel like there's a term for, I know there's a term for this. I can never pronounce it. Like a shutlery bird, board, cutlery board, what do I want to say? Bird, board, I don't know. It's like mm, meat and cheese platters. So I'm going to do it up for the kids. I got crackers, cheese, pepperoni. We're going to do up some grapes, cucumbers, and carrots for them to like snack on with ranch and of course us moms are going to be eating it too with the sparkling cider for them to have a little new year's eve toast so let's go ahead and get into this little haul and i'll show you guys everything that i bought for this party uh, my cousin is also bringing cookies and the little like blower horn things that kids like to do so while i was there they still had some things on sale at, at walmart so everything um christmas was 50 percent off uh, so I got some wrapping paper. This stuff is pretty neutral. Like, I mean, if we still have it come next Christmas, we can definitely use it. But I feel like this would just work for any birthdays throughout the rest of the year. So I went ahead and picked that up and it was half off of three seventy five. dollars um, 18 eggs because we are just out of eggs. I used up the rest of them this morning. Okay, and here we've got some little party poppers here so you pull the string and confetti comes out and then we've got the pepperonis and the carrots then in here I got some sweet potatoes I've got three large sweet potatoes and this is to go with my husband and I's dinner for this evening so I'm just noticing this one has some warm worm holes on it. I'm a little leery on that. There was a couple potatoes in there that were just like ate through with worm holes. And I'm like, why are these on the shelf? So I have to be a little careful with that one. I think the other ones, the other two I bought in there didn't have any. I was trying to check them. I guess I missed that one. But we're going to do up some sweet potato fries with dinner tonight. Which you guys will see all that in an upcoming video. Uh, I got myself some bras because I just need some. And... I used to get my bras from Kmart, but all Kmart closed. In fact, they might just be completely closed across the country now, I'm not sure. But the one in my town is gone. And so from there, I started getting bras of Victoria's Secret, which are expensive, but I like them. But now my Victoria's Secret's gone. And so I could always order online, but it's harder to return if things don't fit. So I thought we'd try Walmart. I don't normally have the best experience with Walmart bras, but I need bras. <laughs> not very many options so I thought this one was cute I just want comfort in my bras I'm not worried about the girls sitting up here um, I just need comfort so these are like t-shirt bras they're just very soft they are padded and hopefully they fit me well oh this one has like a four thing back here that's a lot of hooks there and then here's the other one in total I spent like right around 84 dollars on everything uh, about 30 of that probably about 34 of that is on bras but i just needed some bras so this was just like a nice pretty teal color um i'm hoping they hold up well but again like in the past i've had walmart bras and they've not done good things so i'm a little leery but we'll see okay moving on to crackers i bought two of these so they are the entertainment crackers kind of what it looks like right there got so many people driving by me right now like what is going on but it's got like stone ground wheat crackers sea salt and black pepper poppy and pepper multi-grain wheat and flax and rosemary sounds like everything children will eat <laughs> they sound good to me though and like I said us moms are going to eat it so and I like to eat cheese and crackers a lot so do my kids so I've got one for us at the house and then one for our little party. And of course, if we run out, we can open the other one, but that'll probably be enough. And then like their Christmas stuff was supposed to be half off and the wrapping paper rang up half off, but this rang up for $3. And I feel like that's probably full price. It's a vanilla and chocolate chip brioche. Um, I just, I got it because I thought it was gonna be on clearance and I thought the kids would enjoy it because you just pull it apart. I'm not a big fan of brioche. If you guys watched that Aldi haul from back in the summer, y'all know we tried some. And I was like, it tastes like white bread with chocolate chips in it. And it was from Aldi. So I'll try this one since it's from Walmart. Maybe it'll taste a little different. But my boys loved it. <laughs> so, and since I thought it was going to be a clearance, I was like, well, I'll buy this for our little party we're having. And the kids can kind of pull it apart and have some bread. So we'll see if it's better than Aldi because... The Aldi brioche just tasted like white bread with chocolate chips. It wasn't great. And then 
we got some Christmas crunch. Again, I thought this was gonna be on clearance, was not. It was full price. So I was gonna buy two boxes because I thought they were gonna be like, you know, about 75 cents a piece. No. <laughs> no. So I put one of them back. Um, I probably should have put them both back, but I found it like maybe y'all can help me out, but I struggle when it comes to canceling out an item at the Walmart self checkout. Like are you even able to do that yourself i'm not sure so i scanned one it came up full price and i was like not scanning the other that's it i got some pull-ups for my oldest boy for bedtime because he's about out i was not trying to go like full-on grocery shopping because we don't get paid till friday but he's got like two pull-ups left i think like he's gonna be like one pull-up shy of making it to payday so i'm like oh I'll get the whole pack now. The downside is that they only had 3T, 4T, and he needs 4T, 5T. So these are going to be a little, they'll fitting, but they're not going to be quite like tall enough, you know? So they should be okay, but <sighs> oh well. What are you going to do? Like, I even looked at the girl ones, and they were all 3T, 4T. Unless I wanted to buy a jumbo box for like $25. And I'm like, we get paid Friday. I don't want to buy a jumbo box when we get paid Friday, you know? So anyway. I got some sparkling water. This is key lime. I thought it might taste good. I was hoping to eat their peach, but I didn't have any. So I feel like the peach is just super popular and you just can't hardly find it anymore. Okay, in here we have a bag of green grapes. They look delicious. We actually have about half a bag left at home and they are super sweet. I feel like green grapes are kind of hit or miss. Either they're really good or they're sour, but right now they are very good and very plump and juicy. And then I also got three cucumbers. I don't know. I know my kids probably won't eat the cucumbers. I have to like force them to eat carrots. It's, it's, we're trying here. Guys, trying to get our kids to like do vegetables, but it's hard. They're not fans and it's hard. So I don't know how my cousin's kids are or my friend's kids, but I mean, I know I'll sit around and snack on them, so. Anyway, maybe the moms will just eat them, but I wanted to have some healthy options. And we've got apples at home we're gonna do with this as well. So it's gonna be like pepperonis, crackers, cheese, grapes, and carrots, and apples, and cucumbers, and I got some ranch dip. Did I show you guys the ranch dip yet? Maybe we haven't gotten there. Okay, so down in here, I got a couple of cheese. Okay, why, why? F-U-Y, I am literally the very end and you're parking next to me. Like, there are so many other vacant parking spots and you park right next to me. I don't understand why people do that. Like, I'm not here to be friends. Go away. I need privacy. Why are you here? Hmm. Anybody else hate when people do that? Like, I was going back into like the Christmas clearance section and I for real had this lady up my butt. Like, I turned around and gave her a look and she backed off. But I'm like, are you trying to race me to the wrapping paper? Seriously? She was up my butt. Like, do you want to climb in my back pocket and go for a ride? I mean, I mean, that's annoying normally, but like we're in the middle of a pandemic and you're like up my butt, like practically racing me to the rolling paper without, practically racing me to the wrapping paper without trying to look like you're ra racing me to the wrapping paper. Like, <laughs> anyway. I got two of these. This comes with four different types of cheese. You got your cheddar, your Colby Jack, your pepper jack, and I believe a Swiss. So I got two of these for the cheese tray. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't use all of it with 10 kids plus three moms. Like, and my husband's gonna be there because he's gonna be working in the garage, but he'll probably come in and like make himself a plate. So hopefully that's enough cheese for everybody. Then I got these for me, Crunch Master Multi Seed Crisp. Oh, I love these things. They're kind of pricey, they're like $2. I don't think I'll be putting these out for everybody, but um, I love them, they're delicious. And then I got these, which I know the kids are just gonna like. They're just normal. They're the whole wheat buttery round crackers. They're a fan favorite. I can't see any of the kids complaining about these if they don't want anything from the uh, fancier cracker box. I figured they'll at the very least enjoy those. And then we got some dip. So I got a ranch, a ranch dip, and I also got a French onion dip. I was gonna make my own because a container of sour cream was only a dollar and I've got ranch packets at home, but 
those were a dollar too so i'm like well i'll just save myself the trouble and just go ahead and buy one made up so there it is there is my little random walmart haul i hope you guys did enjoy if you're new i hope you check out my channel see if there's anything else you'd like to watch and then maybe you'll hit the subscribe button and we can be internet friends if you're already one of my internet friends i want to say thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me let me know if you guys have found any awesome goodies on clearance after the holidays this is like the time to buy stuff for next year like wrapping paper i was gonna get a jumbo like three pack of wrapping paper but i didn't realize that it didn't have the barcode on it like i don't know what happened with that sticker but it wasn't there and then the lady came over to help me with some stuff because i mean i got flagged for buying party popper she had to come and id me and make sure that like i was of legal age <laughs> it's not even really a firework but i guess they get classified as one and while she was there i was like i you know i can't find this in the system and i can't scan it so she tried to find it in the system and couldn't scan it either and so i just put it back i was like oh, i guess i'm not getting that but oh well i'll have to buy more next year so that is everything for me today guys i'm gonna head on home my kids will be eating up from naps soon so well my husband's probably off work right now i mean he works in the garage so it's not like they're home by themselves but I head on home and put all this stuff away and i oh i also got balloons i got a pack of balloons i don't know what bag they're in i must have overlooked them it's just a pack of gold balloons and then we've got some leftover white balloons and blue balloons from the boys birthdays at, uh you know for i don't where am i going with that <laughs> from their birthdays we have leftover balloons and then i've got like a blue tablecloth so we're gonna do the tablecloth some balloons have that snack tray the kids are gonna play for a couple of hours and then like 20 minutes leading up to the party my cousin's son has this night light that shines like stars on the ceiling so we're gonna turn lights off she's gonna bring that over we're gonna put that on with some music and they're gonna have a little dance party for 15 or 20 minutes and then like the last you know minute or so they're gonna count down to uh, new year's which is just gonna be 12 o'clock noon on new year's eve day so um we're gonna do that and you know they're gonna eat their food and ring in the new year and hopefully they enjoy it and they're gonna get to toast with their you know non-alcoholic uh bubblies <laughs> um so anyways that's our plans for new year's what are you guys doing if you're doing anything at all what have you found on clearance after the holidays i was looking at a gift set and i really wanted it but i'm like that's the last thing i need to spend my money on but i really want it <laughs> anyway i'm gonna let you guys go thanks for hanging out with me i hope to catch you guys in my next video bye